Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. Today we're going to talk about support and in particular are you supportable? Not supportive, supportable. I'm key about that and explain that and I, I believe I have at least three, so I said three at least, keys that will help you clarify, understand and maybe shift the way you let support in. Before I give you all that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why you might want to watch this talk. Or well, then again, maybe why you won't. No, no okay, I'm not going to go there. Hi, my, my name is Barry Selby. I'm an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, um, love and relationships expert, and best-selling author of the book. I should say author of the best-selling book. I always get transposed with that. Author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. Um, I'm very biased about that book, which is why I keep promoting it, because I wrote it. I think it helps, and I've gotten some great testimonials. So anyway, I'll put the links so you can check it out for yourself at the end of the, in the broadcast. I am... I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's also what started these talks or inspired these talks almost three years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Heart. There's something coming because of that. Um, and today we're episode number 874, as I said, almost three years ago. So lots of these are out there. And I'll tell you at the back end where you can watch the replays. And this is a Facebook Live in case you're watching somewhere else and you're going, how come you're seeing people and no, I'm not seeing them? I'll explain that. That'll explain it in a moment. So the topic today is about are you supportable? And I'm actually going to maybe show you some obvious things you may have missed and also show you some things that maybe you're not even aware of that will help you be more able to receive support and also one of the reasons why support is so vital in this world, especially nowadays. And having been a solo entrepreneur for a while, I'm very present to that experience right now and I'll explain more about that as I get into it. So thanks for joining me. Glad you're here. Let's get started, shall we? Um, one reason why support is so relevant for me right now um, one is because I just joined a mastermind um, actually today <laughs> it was today that I realized I've, I've been um, holding myself together too much and not getting support from other people that can help me move faster move further forward faster than I could on my own further f yeah that further further forward <laughs> you've got what I mean and the thing is is that it's very tempting sometimes that we do it all alone, alone and in particular those of us who are entrepreneurs independent consultants teachers, guides, coaches, et cetera, et cetera, who don't work with or for somebody else, it can be very challenging to, one, do it all alone, and two, trust support. And I'm going to get into that piece in a minute, because trust is the key part of this support system. And this is going to speak to some of the women out there, too, because some of the ladies have been fighting to find their way in the world, and almost impossible to trust somebody to do it right. This is the thing. I'm going to put this on the table now and I'll come back to you at the back end because this is actually very key for a lot of women I've worked with and a lot of women I know are entrepreneurs. There's a fierceness a lot of women have and have owned because of what they've been through for the last couple of millennium that put them in a place where they want to learn how to be more able to fiercely take care of themselves and really get where they want to go. And the challenge is they don't trust anybody because they've been lied to, um, dis um, beaten down, and, and um, what's the word looking for? Basically, they've not been supported getting where they want to go. Let's put it in simple terms. So for a lot of women out there, it's been very hard to trust. Hi, Andrea. Nice to see you in my broadcast. It's very hard to actually find yourself to be supported, which is why I know it's challenging sometimes for my clients to support, trust me, and I'll get to that one later on too. I'm putting lots of seeds out there for the future. So let me put something on the table right up front. If you don't think you can be supported, look down at your feet. I'm being serious about this, but it's kind of silly at the same time. If you notice your feet are on the ground, then you are obviously letting yourself be supported because you're letting the planet support you standing up or sitting down if you're sitting down. And it sounds so simple to say that, but you, sometimes you think to yourself, oh, I can't be supported, I don't trust anybody. Not so fast. The physical planet is supporting you by letting you stand on it. And not only that, but the gravitational pull is keeping you on it because if there was no, if you didn't trust the gravity, would you float away? Now this is, this is I'm, I don't want to get to physics on this, but the reality of course is that you won't because you can't, gravity can work whether you trust it or not. And that's a teaching by the way. You're being supported whether you want it or not. So digest that one for a moment as I talk about some other things. So that's a couple, that's one of the, that's the first point I'll make about support is we're always being supported because we've always got air to breathe. We've always got ground to stand on and we've always got gravity keeping us on the planet. And we play with that and we can work with that. We can run, we can jump, do other things. But gravity is what helps us do that. So we are being supported right there. But let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the piece about people supporting you or you being supported by the people. For some of us, and I include myself in this conversation, um, we've been burned before by people we trusted. 
whether it's in a relationship or family dynamics, or we've done it to other people. Yes, I've done it to other people. Um, we found ourselves not being supported. Either it's been, we've been cheated or lied to, or we've just, or we've been, we've been beaten down that we don't, they don't, people don't believe us, don't encourage us. And part of support for my languaging is to be supported in the expression of your dreams, your intentions, your goals, your, your whatever you do. And for many of us, and I've had it happen to me, people have said, oh, you can't do that. I mean, and part of the reason why I wrote the book, wrote my book, as I mentioned earlier, was because, well, partly because spirit was pushing me really, really solidly in the back. That was another piece of support. I was getting nudged by inner guidance, spirits, whatever you call, spirit, whatever you call that. But for the longest time, I believe people telling me I couldn't write articulately. I wasn't. I wasn't. I mean, at school, I, I was a math and physics, or a math and, uh, and science person, not an English arts major. That was my thing. So I was never about writing. So writing my first book was to blow up some paradigms I was carrying about not being supported, because I thought that people wouldn't trust that I couldn't trust people to support me, because they were telling me one thing and I could do something else. What's also interesting, just to be totally transparent here, is that for quite a while now, I've had people challenging me in my work. Now, this is not to defend myself, but to simply say that because I'm a single person and I've been single for 12 years, they don't trust that I can coach somebody who wants to have a healthy relationship because I don't demonstrate what they believe they want. This is where the support I, that, is, that comes out a lot of times, which is negative support. And I'm sure you experience this yourself, where people have said, like, you can't do that, you don't believe you're worthy of doing it, whatever it is. Now, just to be transparent and also to, to <laughs> advertise my skills, I've been on this path for a long time. I've had many relationships, mostly dysfunctional, to be honest, and I've learned what I did wrong. And those are the skills I bring to help my clients attract healthy relationships so they get what they want to do right. Put this aside now. So here's the thing. For many of us in relationship to anybody else, we have to build trust with them before we can actually be supported by them. And this is the key piece, by the way, the second key, is that to be supported, you've got to trust the support as well from people. Because oftentimes, if you're like me, you've been burnt in the past, as I mentioned, we've, we've been cross, um, we've been double crossed, so to speak, when we get like um, dramatic about it. We've had people who've just flaked on us, who didn't support us, whether it was relationship partners, whether it was, it was spouses or family dynamics, again, or coworkers or bosses or companies. I got let go from companies where I felt like I was being, um, I wasn't being supported. Like, the, there were situations that happened where I know clearly lies were said about me behind my back where I was evicted from a company for false pretenses and I couldn't defend myself. That was a lack of support. So trusting people can be challenging. I know I've been there. But what I have learned, and as I mentioned at the beginning of this talk, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this talk, I've been um, working, I just joined a mastermind this morning because I realized it's time to get more support. So I've joined a nice small mastermind group that is really intentional and I don't have a plan for the long term future but I wanted to say I want to reach out and get support and I got given that today and I'm loving the idea of what's going to happen because there's eight weeks eight weeks going to play together and and to be honest in a way I'm actually using this as a testing ground because I want to launch my own mastermind particularly for the ladies to get support on an emotional and heart level to get what they want because that way it's an easier place to work together and also creates a community of support which I really love the idea of that's really where support comes from is coming from a community you can trust I'm just checking which one I want to jump. I've got like three prongs to jump in here. So, so first of all, um, building trust is important. So it's often important to know the people you're gonna work with or coach with or support you by checking out what they're about. Do some research, do your due diligence. Like as a coach, I offer a discovery session up front, which means you're gonna to talk to me up front where we talk one-on-one, -on -one, so that way you get to know if you really wanna trust me or not. Because I don't wanna work with somebody who doesn't trust me. I don't want to work with somebody I can't trust either. So, you know, just to be clear. So whether that's with a job you're going to go for, you know, have a test drive, you have a certain, you check them out, but also go online, do some research. What have they done? Find out what they're about. Check the social media, find out what they're about that way. This can also be true for dating, by the way. Let me just put that on the table since the area of my work is usually about relationships. It's, it's, I don't think it's a bad idea. In fact, I think it's a good idea to find out more about the person you're going out with. Do some research. I'm not saying go and pursue the X and get some information that way. That might be a little messy. But check out the social media profile. Are their pictures on social media the same as they're on the dating profile? So, for example, are the pictures showing them as being drunk all the time? Like they're hanging out with friends and they're laid over a table or they've got alcohol in their hands all the time. They may not be what you want to be with. 
then again, maybe you will want to be with that. But again, it starts to do research. Find out what they're about. If you have mutual friends, you can, do, you can ask people questions that way. So whether it's a business arrangement or a relationship arrangement, it's worthwhile getting to know if the person you want to be with can support you. So first of all, it's looking, make sure you can be supported in front, which I mentioned being supportable, which means being sure that you can trust other people because you may have been burnt so many times you can't trust anybody. And I feel you. I came close to that a couple of times, but I've still learned the lesson to have better discernment myself about who I trust. This mastermind I joined is because the two women running it, I trust. I know them as friends, I've met them in person, and I believe in what they're teaching. So I'm sticking to being with them because I like that idea, it's investing in that. I'm also in a couple of Facebook groups that aren't masterminds, but there are groups where support happens. Now, let me be clear about this one. Sometimes in a group of people, it's easy to trust them when everyone's invested in what's happening, whether that's an investment of time, investment of effort, or investment of money. Masterminds are great because everybody's on board because they invested in it financially and also invested their time and their energy. That's an easier place to find places people can trust. Facebook groups can be that way, and sometimes they're not. So this is, this is key three, I guess, is to, whoops, I realized my, just making sure that my power cable was in, I realized my power was just draining there. Um, so joining a, a Facebook group, for example, or a social circle, because you know in the old days we didn't have Facebook. When, if you join a group of people, you don't necessarily you can trust every one of them all the time. Maybe you want to do something, maybe you want to um, get to know them first before you put your trust in them. Frankly, frankly, I recommend that with many people out there because a lot of people out there aren't awake, aren't aware, are self-interested, they're not able to help other people because they can't help themselves. There's a whole bunch of reasons why people aren't always available to support you. So do your own due diligence. Check out what people are about, check out what you want to have as support, and know what it is you really need. A part of this also is somebody might say they can support you, but what they offer as support doesn't match what you need. So that's number four, number five. I, as I said, I got a bunch of points. I knew it was gonna be at least two, so I'm over that. So at least I've kept my agreement on that side. But the thing about it is, is you may not know necessarily until you get to know somebody if they will offer the support that you want the way you want it. So be clear of what you want. This is a whole piece about trust, about clarity, about knowing what you want. It's also vital in relationship. I mean, trust, support, knowing what you want, are qualities that you need to have up front when you're looking to go on dates and in romantic relationships. That's why I talk about it now as a, as a public service announcement for anybody in any area of life, but particularly in the area of relationship. And if this is something you're stuck with, I'd like you to invite you to reach out for support. As I mentioned, I do offer a complimentary chat because, and, and I'll say this another way, anybody you want to work with, like a coach or anything else, if they don't offer you some sort of complimentary way of getting to know them, maybe you don't want to work with them. Some coaches are like, you pay up front before you do anything. It's like, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. I've been sitting with that on myself, by the way. Because some of the coaches I know out there don't offer complimentary discovery sessions to get to know you. So you don't even know if you want to work with them or not. So my invitation is, is to find someone if you do want to get support, and, I, and let me say this way. If you're not yet seeking support, you're not getting guidance, you're not getting coaching, you're not getting counsel, you don't have a mentor, a guide, a coach, a facilitator, an expert, somebody helping you, I had to recommend you do. One of the most powerful things to get what you want in your life in any area of your life is to get support from somebody who can help you in that area. There's a part of us I know that is fiercely known. Oh, that's a piece I didn't remember. I need to remember that piece. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, I'll get back to that piece I said earlier. That we often think we can do it alone. And yes, we can to a degree. But wouldn't it be easier if you had the shortcuts or the right ways or the extra assistance to get you there more easily? Personally, I think it's a good idea. So let me go back to the piece I missed earlier, which is about ladies, you've been physically independent. I talked about this before, and I did talk about this on a recent broadcast, a recent interview I had, so this is why it's fresh in my mind. Ladies, you've been trained by our culture to be fiercely independent, to get things done, to take care of yourself, to be independent and not need anybody, because you've been cheated in the past, whether it's out of jobs, out of support, out of a relationship, or out of whatever it is. You've been cheated, so I understand how it's hard to trust. But it also means that getting into a relationship is going to be really challenging, because if you don't trust men, for example, because in the business world, maybe you have learned that you've got to keep your own walls up and keep your defense up to be successful. You can't trust men because they'll steal your ideas or they'll put you down or they'll compete with you or whatever they'll do. 
So you've learned the hard way that trusting is not easy. This is where I suggest you look at yourself. Part of the work I do with my clients, and I know a lot of my women friends are doing this, is learning how to trust their own feminine strength. Partly because it's the piece you haven't necessarily been um, embracing for a long time. Partly because that part of you has got the most wisdom available to you if you just tapped into it. And partly because when you start to learn to trust your own feminine heart, the intuition, the instinct, the wisdom that's in there will guide you unerringly to find the right people to hang out with. Part of my work with my clients is helping women remember and, and reconnect to their feminine heart because that's where all the wonderful gifts of abundance show up in terms of trustability, of openness, of support, of wisdom, of guidance, of intuition, all those different things. But for most women, unfortunately, especially in this culture, you've been trained away from that because the society was the society. The no, the society was set up to establish a, a male way of doing things, and you had to copy that. So, ladies, it's time to stop copying the men. Start to remember who you are as a woman, in business, in love, and in life. That's what my my intro is about. It's helping you create balance in all three areas. So, if this is an area you want to get some help with, I'm going to offer my support. Yes, I'm going to offer you my support if you're willing to be supported. And as I said before, I do offer a complimentary conversation, a chat, a, an introduction, a gift from me to you. No fee, just taking some time to chat. And if you like what you hear, you can sign up if you want to. It's really simple. So that is one of the things I put in the comments. There'll be a link to have a chat with me. It's a complimentary 30-minute conversation. We can discuss where you are, what you're looking for, if I can help you, and if you want to work with me. It's a two-way street. Um, I'll also put a link in the comments for my book because that's something I recommended earlier. And because this is another piece of that, that puzzle, I've got, I'm going to get like a big puzzle about self-support and being supportive is part of that process. So one of the ways you can practice supporting yourself is to practice some sort of meditation. And I'm going to recommend my self-love meditation because I'm biased about it. I know it works. And my self-love meditation is a practice that you take on, that you do daily. And it's a chance for you to commit to yourself and trust yourself to do this every day for 30 days, twice a day. With audio meditations that can take you deeper inside yourself and deeper connected to yourself so you can trust yourself. Self-love is a simple tool which talks about, oh yeah, self-love, yeah, no big deal. It is a big deal because when we start to learn to trust ourselves and love ourselves, everything comes into alignment. So my self-love meditation is there to help you get there more easily, more gracefully, more effectively. And you'll have my voice in your ear if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> so I'll put the link in the comments too. So those three links have been in the comments for you to check out and get some support if you wish to. Um, and if you want to check out more about who I am so you know what I'm about, so maybe you can find it if you can trust me, is you can watch my other Facebook Lives. So I'll tell you where you can find those replays. So my daily Facebook Live I do here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby. Please watch me here daily at 5 p.m. Pacific time. There's a button somewhere in the broadcast being tap on it lets you have more, more, more information. And one of those is to be notified next time I go live. You can do that. Secondly, you can watch the replays anytime you want. And I have a bunch of them on um, Facebook, on my business page, which is facebook.com slash barryselby.author. You can watch them all there, although not all of them are there. Facebook has been partially supportive by keeping, putting them up there. It's not as supportive as it could be. Facebook, by the way, be careful what you trust. <laughs> um, so I've thankfully got as a backup and all of them are on my YouTube channel. So I invite you to subscribe to my channel, which is Barry Selby on YouTube. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where all of my broadcasts are. So that you buy titles, find you what you want, and check out my talks. If you find you get value from them, if you find you like what you're hearing, maybe it's a good time to sign up to get some support from me directly. With that, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me. If you have any questions or thoughts about this topic, please put them below and respond when I sign off. If you want to reach out for support over social media, you can do that. I will respond that way too. And the links will be in the comments after I sign off. I appreciate you watching. I hope you've taken this to heart that you'll learn how to be supportive and how to support yourself to get what you really want. Take the time, get support, get where you want to go faster, easier, more joyfully, and with more fulfillment. And with that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.